Before you start taking Trigenta, make sure to read the medication guide and, if available, the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Trigenta is taken by mouth with or without food as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. The dosage is based on your medical condition, response to treatment, and other medications you may be taking. It's important to take Trigenta regularly to get the most benefit from it. Try to take it at the same time each day to help you remember. Make sure to follow the medication treatment plan, meal plan, and exercise program your doctor has recommended. Check your blood sugar regularly as directed by your doctor. Keep track of the results and share them with your doctor. Tell your doctor if your blood sugar measurements are too high or too low, as your dosage or treatment may need to be changed. This medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. However, it's important to be aware of any serious side effects that may occur while taking Trigenta. If you experience joint pain, unusual skin blisters, or signs of heart failure such as shortness of breath, swollen ankles feet, unusual tiredness, or sudden weight gain, it's important to inform your doctor immediately. While Trigenta typically does not cause low blood sugar on its own, it may occur if taken with other diabetes medications. Be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to determine if the dosage of your other diabetes medications needs to be adjusted. If you experience symptoms of low blood sugar, such as sweating, shaking, fast heartbeat, hunger, blurred vision, dizziness, or tingling hands feet, it's important to have a quick source of sugar on hand, such as glucose tablets or gel, to treat the low blood sugar. On the other hand, if you experience symptoms of high blood sugar, such as increased thirst or urination, it's important to inform your doctor right away. Additionally, seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms of pancreas disease or a serious allergic reaction to Trigenta, such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist. And remember, always seek medical advice if you experience any serious side effects while taking Trigenta. Before taking Trigenta, it's important to let your doctor know if you have any allergies, as this medication may contain ingredients that could cause allergic reactions. Also, be sure to inform your doctor about any history of pancreatitis, gallstones, or heart failure. When taking Trigenta, be aware that you may experience symptoms such as blurred vision, dizziness, or drowsiness due to changes in blood sugar levels. It's important to avoid activities that require alertness until you are sure you can perform them safely. Additionally, limit your alcohol consumption, as it can increase the risk of developing low blood sugar. If you experience increased stress due to illness or surgery, it may be harder to control your blood sugar. Consult your doctor for potential changes in your treatment plan or medication. For pregnant women, Trigenta should only be used when clearly needed, as pregnancy can cause or worsen diabetes. It's important to discuss a plan with your doctor for managing blood sugar levels during pregnancy and to weigh the risks and benefits of different treatments. As for breastfeeding, it's unknown if Trigenta passes into breast milk, so it's crucial to consult your doctor before breastfeeding while using this medication. When taking Trigenta, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. One product that may interact with Trigenta is Rifampin. Additionally, beta-blocker medications such as metaprolol, propranolol, and glaucoma eye drops like timolol may affect the fast-slash-pounding heartbeat experienced when blood sugar falls too low. Other symptoms of low blood sugar, such as dizziness, hunger, or sweating, are not affected by these drugs. It's important to note that many drugs can impact your blood sugar levels, making it more challenging to control. Before making any changes to your medication, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about how it may affect your blood sugar. Be sure to regularly check your blood sugar as directed by your doctor and report any symptoms of high or low blood sugar. Your doctor may need to adjust your diabetes medication, exercise program, or diet based on the results. If you suspect an overdose and the person is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 immediately. 
Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can reach out to their provincial poison control center. Remember not to share Trigenta with others. It's important to have regular medical tests while taking Trigenta, such as blood glucose and hemoglobin A1C tests. Make sure to attend all medical and lab appointments. Consider joining a diabetes education program to learn more about managing diabetes with medications, diet, exercise, and regular medical checkups. Be knowledgeable about the symptoms of high and low blood sugar, and learn how to treat low blood sugar. Check your blood sugar regularly as directed, and share the results with your doctor. If you forget to take a dose of Trigenta, take it as soon as you remember. But if it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Keep Trigenta at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to store it in a safe place, out of reach of children and pets. When you no longer need it or it reaches its expiration date, be sure to dispose of it properly. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. Remember not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.